Bruce Lee and Leon Edwards. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their head back, immediately he's up a heel foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Leon Rocky Edwards! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Herb Dean. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Ooh, big shot, man. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination of top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Edwards, whoa! He's in trouble. Well, he 
He's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Beautiful strike. Nice job by Leon Edwards going to the kicking game now. Certainly earned the respect with his hands. Now changes the level. Full on mixed martial arts. Yeah, he can do it all. He's a fantastic striker. A guy that can mix it up. A guy that knows exactly where he's looking. It is and isn't shy to take that open. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press. Oh! They go 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round. DC, what a high level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face, he's constantly taking them down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, second round underway. Oh! Oh! And kick home, and now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. It's too high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Nice straight punch. Kick is blocked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with the wood. He's, He's hurt bad. Oh, he got him hurt bad. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to... Wow! And just like that, the fight is over! It's over! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness, what a fight! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short time for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean should call a stop in this contest. Two minutes, ten seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by...